<laughs> Welcome, folks. This is the morning after. Mm. This is the morning after the <clears throat> morning after what podcast? Not podcast. The live stream. Yeah. The morning after the what? The morning after those bourbon guys live stream on a Friday. So it's Saturday morning. Hence the morning after. We're eating some breakfast. We're eating yeah. breakfast. I'm drinking coffee. Mm-hmm. And breakfast. Breakfast. Bre- be frist. Be frist. <laughs> Big fresh. Fresh. Big fresh. So we thought Big it would fresh. be a good idea to do this podcast because we just feel like because we're enough. stupid. We're stupid. <laughs> we thought it'd be a good idea. No, it's not a good idea. So we're yeah. we're anxious to get your feedback. But this would be our first. So yeah, I'm move the mic away from my mouth so I'm not smacking into it. We're virgins. Oh. We're podcast virgins. Not after today. Ugh. Then we're gonna be pod sluts. Oh, I gotta take my my vitamins. Mm. Did you not take your vitamins yet? I didn't have any food to eat with it, to, to take with it. What? Shut up. You have to have food to stick it in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. For, for vitamins, yeah. So I, I'm taking D3. You know what I'm saying? You, gotta, you can't have enough D. And then I'm taking <laughs> zinc and uh, cinnamon. Need a little vitamin D there, AJ? Mm-hmm. A little vitamin D. <laughs> vitamin D. D. So well, cinnamon pills are kind of cool when they bust. Ew. Cinnamon? Yeah, cinnamon. Cinnamon. Is this like the cinnamon challenge? Cinnamon. No, it's like they're, they're cinnamon tablets. Ryan cinnamon. knows what, what they do. They, so what, uh, okay, what is it? Is this like a, a homeopathic type of thing? Well, I started taking zinc in D3 after I had COVID, and I have I have not been sick since, and that was a year and a half ago. Um, I'm not saying that it's solely because of the zinc in D3, but I think it helps. I mean, maybe. Okay. D3 is just could good be the for fact you anyway. that you have no human contact. I had human contact. I'm with you, right, <laughs> bitch? Well, <laughs> that's the only human contact you have. And with Shane, that's a that's a loose interpretation of human contact. Well, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You you're talking about I'm not hugging Is on people. Is this the same song? Watch yeah. five. Maybe it's the same song. Watch. I need five, a new band. Not five, five, five. Dude, I love these little baby cops. By the way, mm-hmm. these they're not like super hot, but but when you're hungry, you don't give a shit. So qu- here's a good question, right? <laughs> so AJ and I are going to get. Chick-fil-A this morning. <coughs> and we're in line. <laughs> you all right? What happened? Okay. Oh, good Lord. You sucked the biscuit down your throat? I did. Mm-hmm. What an idiot. You're supposed to chew it. All right. So <laughs> we pull up, and first off, we did the uh, the mobile order, yeah. right? So that you would think that's going to go pretty, pretty smooth. Pretty yeah. smooth. So we get there, and it dawns on me, like... Man, they spent all this money on all this equipment to automate the order taking process. And they still have people standing out in line. Man. I think they just think we're dumb. I think they literally think that people are so stupid that they they're like, hey, we're gonna buy this like equipment to do or and then people just somebody screwed it up and they're like, you know what? Okay, we're gonna hire people and have them order for these people because they are just Dumb. They yeah, don't know I mean, how to order. For the math wizards out there, it's like essentially what you want to do is like you want to spend, I don't know, let's just say ten thousand dollars for easy math. You want to make the process of getting your order fifty times quicker. Mm-hmm. But has it? Have you have you really achieved no. your goal of fifty yeah, right? percent quickness increase, or, or is it, or are they like maxing out at like ten percent? Because like it, it the 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 order, the rate at which you get your order is now dependent on the car in front of you. Yeah, because we got right. our order first before the car in front of us. We're stuck behind them. Yep. You would think that they would move them up into a parking space or something, but they didn't. You would, yeah, you would think. Well, yeah. to be fair, the I dogs think... are at the door barking yes. and scratching. Yep. They want the food. They, that's exactly what they want. That's why yeah. they're not getting in here. Stop it! Stop, Stop it. scratching at the door. I know you're in there. <laughs> well, <laughs> I can smell it. <laughs> but you know, I, and you know, you bring up a good point. That lady in front of us, or that car in front of us. I assume it was a lady. It was because of the I hair that her. I saw. Yeah. <laughs> My God. Like, she had to have ordered everything on the damn menu. Mm-hmm. And so she's in front of us. Takes forever to order. Of course, mm-hmm. we just fly right through. Takes forever to order. Gets They come out and give her like half her order and then make her pull up into a waiting zone and then let us out. Yeah. Like, this is the dumbest Guarantee thing. that woman was, was talking to the lady while she was placing order. She was like, do y'all cook y'all's fries in canola oil <laughs> or <laughs> peanut oil? <laughs> Had to be. Can y'all put the sauce on the sandwich, or do I have to dip it? Like, just probably asking yeah. dumb questions. 
Probably so. But, I mean, to their credit, though, it's still faster than going through a McDonald's drive-thru. Oh, that's fair. Mm, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if it was. Not, I think our experience was probably not. Well, In most cases, I would say yes. Mm-hmm. Considering that there was like 40 cars in the drive-thru, but you're not clear. Then in McDonald's, was there four or five? Yeah. I just think that they move through a whole lot more cars in the same amount of time. Yeah, maybe. Even if but they do have a lot more people working. They do. <laughs> they figured it out. Yeah. They're they're like, out. hey. Well, did they though? Because again, I go back to my point. They went and bought all that stuff to take orders. They got well, the signs and all that junk, and you don't even use that crap. No, you don't use the anymore. They're out there with iPads. Also, they're testing a new concept in Atlanta. Uh, they're starting to build, especially it would be open, I think, in the spring of next year. You just don't even order. You just drive through, and they just throw food at you? Yes, it, okay. it's cannons. Like, boom, <laughs> shoot it into the car. It's like two-story Chick-fil-A. Mm-hmm. The entire upper floor is all kitchen okay. with conveyor belts down, and it's like an eight-lane drive through underneath. Okay. And so you just come in, order, and there's like eight lanes going all the time. So the conveyor belts are shooting the chicken in your car. Yeah. <laughs> you <are. laughs> like, so, I didn't even order this. It doesn't matter. Just keep it moving. What, what, I, what I also think is interesting. You'll take it and you'll like it. <laughs> what I also think is interesting is they've got four different ways you can get your food. Right? And it's the science is now, well, we figured out ways for them to get their food. But <laughs> how many of these people are going to pick this option? Because if they have an overload of one option picked, then you have a slow drive through. If everybody picks drive through, then drive through is going to be slow. If half people pick drive through and then half people pick curbside, which that one on Fairview Road, I don't know if you saw, but that parking lot beside us where we were placing, where you can place your order, mm-hmm. there's signs in those parking spots where you can pull in and then they're numbered. They, they take it out to you. So if half and half do that, then you'll be able to blast through that drive through like that. Uh, yeah. But I think we're. we're Joe! Was it Joe that called you? It was Joe that called me. Joe, what's up? What's up, buddy? Hey, hey, sorry about this. Um, no, you're not. Is, uh, what's the good, what's the good um, uh, version of that? Was it 34? Max 34? No. 33. Three. What? Look at my fingers. Three. <laughs> Three. <laughs> 33. I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you still can't see him. You can't. Do you, you guys have 34? We yes. Do, do we? Yeah. Yes. Got 33, 34, and 35. 33 is really good. 34 is, is not that great. Right. 35, 35 is good. Yeah, 35 is. I don't think 35 is as good um, as 33, but much better than 34. Yeah. Hey, Ryan, if you have any tater tots left, I will be glad to take those off your hand. Nope, she's on a diet. Ryan. You can't give it to her. Didn't you already have your tater tots? <laughs> Some of the kids stole them. Why'd you let them do that? Because you're weak. You gave them your fing tots? You're weak. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. I think if more people picked other options, because I've done the curbside a couple times, I'd rather go through the drive-thru. Yeah. It's so much more easy. I, it's, it's, it sounds stupid, but it's like easier to go through the drive-thru. When it's not, it's actually easier to pull up to a parking spot and have them do all the work, but it's what people are used to. Yeah. And that'll probably change in the future, but until that does, we're still going to have clogged drive through lines because most people are picking drive through. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But can we agree? I mean, Chick Fil A is just a license to print money. Yeah, well, well, I mean that's pretty much what it is. I mean, every- why is that? It's good chicken, but it's not that good. You know what I mean? Like it's good, but it's, it's, good. it's not. I'd buy the service too. Yeah, well, the service. <laughs> it's the, it's the fact that when you go, I don't care what Chick Fil A you go to, mm-hmm. you feel like the people who are serving you actually care. You know, I or mean, at they, least they're not rapists and murderers. Exactly. I mean, they mm-hmm. they actually they present themselves with some sort of professionalism, typically have a smile, and they say, you know. But does that is, really is matter? Do you think that really affects people's willingness to go there? Like yeah. 100%. Yeah. Absolutely. Over other places? Mm-hmm. 100%. That's why I don't go to Popeye's. Yeah. yeah. I love Popeye's. I love Popeye's too. Popeye's chicken, and this is controversial, Popeye's chicken sandwich it's better than Chick Fil A's chicken mm-hmm. sandwich. The what? And I get the spicy. I'm a spicy guy, so I get the spicy chicken sandwich mm-hmm. with, for both restaurants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the spicy, whatever sauce they put on that, like spicy mayonnaise that they put on that spicy chicken yeah, sandwich. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. a totally it's mayonnaise. hella delicious. Also, the the breading of the chicken is crunchier. The buns are you could interchange yeah, yeah. the buns; it doesn't really matter. Right. But um, no, I think. But I would go to Chick Fil A uh, nine times out of ten over a Popeyes. 
because one, I don't want to get shot at a Popeyes. <laughs> Wait, is that a, is that a thing? That's that's one of the prerequisites is you have to you have to take into account when you go to a Popeyes. But, is, but has, is that really a thing? Or is I mean, that you, just can, yeah. you can you can order a you know. A, I've a, never a, heard of a side order of body armor when you go. To the Popeyes. I've never heard it. Now, I will say Popeyes is usually in the parts of town that that could happen. I've never heard of that happening. I know. I've just watched a lot of Popeyes. There's, 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 Popeyes, watching, there's can, a lot of videos, videos about Popeyes po- fights. Yeah, people just getting in fights. Some guy had the genius idea to put the Popeyes, da, 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 like yeah. the, the jingle. Love my and, chicken from Popeyes. Yeah. And there was a big fight happening, and he had the, yeah. the, and that was the, the, the music playing in the when background. When the chicken so sandwich funny. came out, someone literally got shot over chicken sandwiches. Okay, okay. Well, that's uh, that I got. I understand, because there, there was a craze. A craze, yeah. yeah and like somebody but shot general, somebody over chicken sandwich. is that a thing? In general, no. The no, biggest okay. point of contention for me is the fact that their service is god-awful. Oh, it's terrible. Uh, it's, the one in Newberry? It's like one, one in step Newberry? below Hardee's. Oh, it's, it's there. It's there. <laughs> They built one in Newberry, where I live. Um, that place has been open for nine 22 months. Twenty-two hours ago, over at Greens, is somebody looking up for a humongous oh, yeah. slam dunker? Yeah, you can tag me in that. Oh, wow. Sorry, you tagged me in that. And I was like, yeah, I got enough. I do actually have a lot of. Anyway, well, that one's a good one. That's a really good. One. That's a humongoid dunker. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what was I say? Oh, <laughs> Popeyes. The Popeyes. Popeyes in Newberry has been there for about, uh, maybe eight or nine months. I've been there. Seven times, and I've only been able to eat twice out of the seven times I've gone. I'll go through the drive through and this really pissed me off one time. I went every, most of the times you go through the drive through you're like, hey, how's it going? You know what I'm saying? And they're like, hey, we don't have any fillets. Like, they're out of chicken. And I'm like, How do you run out of chicken at a chicken restaurant? <laughs> I'm not even getting there at, like, closing time. I'm getting there, like, maybe an hour after lunch. Wow. And so I'm like, well, that kind of sucks. So, I'll, you know, I end up leaving. One time I went through the drive through and I... Uh, and so they come over the the horn and they're like, "Hey, we're not taking orders on the drive through. We're uh, we're slow." And I was like, "All right." What? So I really wanted a goddamn chicken sandwich. They didn't say no fillets, so I was like, "So at least they have chicken sandwiches." I just maybe have to go inside. So I'll go inside, and right when I walk inside, there's a table right here, and it's got five of them at the table, just ha, 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 yeah, just just fucking talking and chatting. When you, and the one of them's got the drive through headset on, and I'm like, "What the fuck is this?" Like you're not taking orders to drive your 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 it's it's terrible, terrible service. Yeah, yeah. And that's not just for my Newberry Popeyes. Well almost every Popeyes I've been to has not the most stellar of service. I think we could probably agree. I'm gonna throw this out there. That's the reason why Burger King is in the demise it's in. Yeah. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah. Right? Burger King Burger King is not good. No, their burgers are great. They used to be. I don't I haven't had them in a long time because the service is so bad. But the service is literally like, oh, and it doesn't matter. I've been to Burger Kings all across this country thinking, like every time I go to like a new state or a new area, I'm like, well, let's see if this Burger King, now every one of them, yeah. they just give no Fs at all. It's the yeah. worst thing. I'm like, I don't know. I can't remember. Someone bought them recently. I think relatively recently. Right. And whoever took them over, they just did nothing, go. did nothing to fix. The, they re- the they filmed a new commercial or something. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's no. Well, they got the the big guy, the big king with yeah, the big head. I, I just don't understand. Like, how do you let that was that was literally right on McDonald's tail? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, and and then it just it's it's almost an oblivion now. You don't even it's well, not even I a think, topic. I think too, it's because McDonald's has slid so far from where they were when I was a kid. Well, you sure. Mean, yeah, because when I was a kid, I mean, you think about it. Back in the eighties, well, when um, but it's not the service. For, Service sucks at McDonald's. Most McDonald's. I don't know, man. I, I don't. I don't know. Maybe but around the here. Food, the food is good. Now, the uh, McDonald's by you and Clover mm-hmm. is awesome. Yeah, I've stopped there several times. Yeah, yeah. Phenomenal service. The yeah. food is fresh. They're hustling. Yeah, they're working. They've got a great manager there, obviously. Right. And they're doing really well. But a lot of the McDonald's around here absolutely suck ass. Yeah. And I think it's they used to have Hamburger U. I don't think they have that anymore. Or oh, if they yeah. do, what they're not Hamburger implementing U? it. That's the training program. Training program. Uh, they were I known to be, for the training I, program. I'm a hamburger U alumni. Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, this thing. We were there in high school. It was when, <laughs> after, uh, what was it? Ray, that explains course, Ray Kroc, but then it was it Fred Anderson. I think Fred Anderson was his right-hand guy that yeah. took over after he died. When Fred was still alive, McDonald's, that's when they were in, like, skyrocketing uh, growth and everything else. And when he, he went into McDonald's. Then, I think, I want to say mid-90s. When Something Anderson like died? 
in mid to late 90s, something like that, when Anderson died. And then it, you can see from that point forward, it was the slow decline of service at McDonald's. Did you did you ever watch that the movie? The founder yes. about Rick Rock? Uh, yeah. The Founder? The Founder. Oh, I've yeah. watched it several times. That's a great so, movie. How about, can I say a quick yeah. thing before you go into the movie part? What if, if that was your perception when you were a kid? What if your parents thought like us now as adults back then? What? Well, okay, oh, no. I can, I can I, see I, that. I, okay, uh-huh. I see, yeah, that maybe I wasn't paying because enough attention. I, as a I kid. used a term earlier today. I said car hop, mm-hmm. right? That's what they used to be. That's what those restaurants yes. used to be. Mm-hmm. And th- so the the service industry transformed w- in McDonald's world where it was more self service ish. So I could see that. I could see where the parents would be like, "Oh, well, you know, we were used to pulling up and these people coming out, taking yeah. our order, and going yeah. getting the food and bringing it to us." And now we've got to get out of our car, go inside. Uh, I could see that. I could see that. Yeah, but I also think, but they changed ingredients. I mean, everything kind of went down. The, the food quality went down. You yeah. Know. Well, they got in trouble a few times on stuff. Like people called them out, right? And then they would revamp their their yeah. quarter pounder, for instance. That was one that was struggling, and then they came back with the new and yeah. the new quarter pounders were well, amazing. But I think they've started to slip yeah. again. Uh, yeah, because well, they came out and said they were fixing them all fresh to order. Yeah. And I don't know that they do that. I, I don't think. I don't think a lot of our. I think some of the restaurants still do, but I don't think a lot of them still yeah. do. Well, Wendy says like never fresh, never frozen. But I, I've some of my friends have worked at Wendy's. They use frozen ass patties. Yeah, when, uh, there, mm-hmm. there's another one. Wendy's like Wendy's has gone up and down. Like they they had like their heyday where like really good with the baked potatoes and everything. Well, else. yeah, they, yeah, they, they kind of have marketing. Then, they have marketing moments that kick off a, yeah. a growth period. And yeah, whoever's dies. running their Twitter account was just awesome. Oh, they're, oh yeah, they're twi- yeah, yeah, the the Twitter account for Wendy's is yeah. freaking amazing. But you, so you said something uh, earlier. You said you said uh, they had like a, a good manager. So I think it's all manager. It's, it's all manager. Yeah. So it, the Zaxby's in Newberry. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I don't know. Maybe an, a tenth of a mile from the Popeyes. That Popeyes is god awful, but that Zaxby's is the best Zaxby's I've ever been to because the manager, obviously, is really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, and and I actually said it on. So there's Newberry now. I live in Newberry, so there's a Newberry now Facebook page, and and I actually uh, made a post. I was like, "Hey, the Zaxby's is awesome. You guys do a great job. Best Zaxby's I've ever been to." And I meant it. I ended up getting like six or seven hundred likes, and and ton of comments and even the the manager even comments she was like thank you so much we we make sure that yeah. we try hard and stuff and that's what it takes like it's it, almost like you go through ingredients changes all you want but if you maintain that well right that you gotta give a sh- yeah yeah you gotta well, give it and it, it's not just fast food no no i mean you look it's at anywhere. what's going on just across the board in any s- customer service type industry and that's the biggest issue no one gives a sh- yeah. yeah they just don't well, and that goes that goes back to I think that's why the consistency that um, that Chick Fil A has over a lot of other spots is because their systems force involvement of the owner operator. Yeah. So an owner operator, if uh, I'm 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 99 sure that I'm I'm semi semi right here. <laughs> 99. All right, 60 percent of the time it works every, every time. time. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> But they're only allowed to own up to two stores, and yeah. they have to be within 15 minutes of each other yeah. because their contracts require them to be in store for a certain period, number of hours yeah, every week. You have yeah. to give a sh. Yes, you yeah. have to give a sh. Yeah. And you have to be in the store working. And, and you should. And you go into any of them, like you'll see the owner operator picture up and look back there, like yeah. 75% of the time, the, some, they will be in the store. Yeah. Oh, I've you will seen see them, them there. sweeping. Yeah. yeah, like they're back there, like yeah. doing the, I've seen the them grunt cl- jobs. I, I've seen them in there cleaning the bathrooms before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like, but those are the one; those are the stores that the employees are so nice yeah. that they're they're going above and beyond to give good customer service. So how do we how do we get that back? Like as a culture, I mean, because that's what it is, right? It's a culture thing. It's, yeah, kids are raised now with the idea of having to struggle for anything is lost. Oh, yeah. it's the idea of having to work for anything is lost. So there's no respect for <laughs> anything, right? And it goes this. I think that's where it translates, right? Is it's it's if you don't ever have to work for anything, you don't understand what it means to be hungry, right? Yep. You and so you just lose all ambition or drive. To well, it was harder to achieve yeah. success back then. Now it's the the idea of success 
Well, I can jump on a video game and become famous like that. Yeah. Even though that's a hard thing to do too. Yeah. But the idea that yeah. a lot of kids have well, is like, I can get, if this doesn't work out, I can always be like well, a streamer. It takes time. You have to work hard. Well, it's the fault. It's the <laughs> false impression of perfection. Yeah. On online, you you only have to show what you want to. I mean, you know, our videos, we don't show everything. We show probably a lot more than a lot of people do because yeah. of all the stupid shit that goes yeah. on in our videos. We put bloopers in, we like put the, bloopers, in, the, yeah. in the middle of a video. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But a lot of people will edit everything down to make sure that you that that photo's perfect and they cut everything out so you don't see all the crap that's actually happening. Yeah. And it's the false impression of perfection. That that's achievable, right? And that that somebody oh somebody's living that perfect. No, they're not. No one's living a perfect life. They're no. working their ass. If they have gotten anywhere, they've worked their ass off for it. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. You know why? Because I live a perfect life. It is perfect. Remember that this is recorded. <laughs> this is recorded. She said it. I provided a perfect life for her. Well done, sir. <laughs> Thank you. You have achieved Congratulations. success. Happy Thanks. husband. <laughs> that's right. yeah. Happy husband. Miserable wife. Uh, <laughs> that's usually the case, right? Because yeah. if the husband's happy, the wife is pissed. Because <laughs> yeah. men aren't allowed to be happy. <sighs> is that yeah. right, director? I don't know. I'm pretty happy. <laughs> no, I'm just saying the concept of I'm happy. A happy, a happy. Like a man can't be happy, right? Are we? Are men not allowed to be happy without the woman being pissed? Well, he's happy. He must be doing something. F- him. Is that about? Is that about <laughs> I don't know what you're talking. <laughs> I'm gonna, is I'm this gonna, why you're still single? <laughs> it could be. It could be. Because men are simple. Men are really, we're really simple. Oh, very. Yeah. Uh, you give us a football game and that's about it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? No. Like, or or no. something like, yeah, something yeah. of interest. Something to the equivalent it, of, like, yeah. what? Say but something. it could be really, I'm just happy because I have an Amazon account that I can order things off of. Give I just phone. ordered some more toffee. Give me the <laughs> right? phone before you order the, uh, before you order the kids. We'll race that <laughs> account. <laughs> No, but you, you bring up a good point. We that's exactly right. We we have these things that we didn't have forever ago. Yeah. And I think we lose you look at kind of the state of the mental state of people these days. Those things they don't realize like all these things we have at our fingertips now and we've just become so complacent about it. We don't we don't appreciate yeah what it took to get to that point. Yeah. You know what's funny what's interesting too is like it from when you guys were kids, and and, and I mean, you're the, well, you're the oldest one here for sure by a lot, by a <laughs> lot. <laughs> so you're 15 years older than me, but like even even my generation, because I'm 35, and and director and Ryan, all of us, uh, I'm not 35. We had to gradually. Well, thank you for saying, thinking I'm 35. I'm yeah, 35. Sure. The point is, before we get <laughs> on this other tangent, 60. The point is, it was a gradual. Uh, it it came slowly. Like the technology oh, increase, definitely. But but after a certain time, technology gets so fast that it all this new stuff is coming at you at an accelerated rate yeah. that it's almost like you don't know how to handle it. Yeah, we we were able to grow up into because we had very slow dial up internet. Yeah, it wasn't like we had internet. It wasn't like one gig fiber from the start. It was shit ass internet, and that was fine. We used to have message boards, yeah. man. That was like, oh yeah, you remember MySpace pages? Oh, right. <laughs> MySpace. MySpace, MySpace was even further down the road for yeah. me. Like it used yeah. to be AOL message boards. Oh yeah, that's how you interact. Yeah. I used then, to have to download yeah, pictures of naked chat. ladies. Oh uh, yeah, text based games where you would go in and you would like, uh, you just basically type out, you know, it's like, oh, you're in the woods and blah blah blah, and then you'd have to like, yeah. figure out that that was a thing. Um, we didn't have, even though I was, I grew up. Actually, with uh, in an arcade, my mom and dad started a video game arcade in the '80s. Um, big video gamer. Mm-hmm. I had all the little systems and all that stuff. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, Who's Jessica? I don't know. I'm laughing at the face. <laughs> I'm laughing at Jessica. <laughs> I'm I don't know. What, I couldn't read what the top said. I don't. I don't Happy birthday. Mm. The director's over here. We're trying to have a philosophical yeah. discussion, and director's like, "Happy birthday, <laughs> <Thank Jessica." you. laughs> So, video arcade. 80s. Oh yeah, yeah. So I grew, so I grew up as a video gamer. Yeah, but you know the the idea of the web and and you know MMOs, these big massive you know world games stuff that was not even a thing, not even a concept at that point. Um, you had LAN parties, right? Oh yeah, where you bring would drag, your, bring your, drag TV. your box was, over to your yeah. house, and uh, that was a thing. Uh, but I was I was an adult at that point. I'm a very young adult, but I was still an adult. Dude, uh, land parties were the shit. 
Yeah, it was awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, you still kind of, I mean, you did the the thing on the computer and that was fine, but you were still with your dudes, yeah. man. You, you were hanging out. But now it's, like, there's just, there's very little human interaction. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and honestly, that what's, what's wild about that is that's kind of the, a driving factor of, of story time, to be quite honest. Yeah. Right. Is that connection? Yeah. Is, is, is trying to rekindle that connectivity between individuals through, you know, a simple bottle. I, not that I, I didn't necessarily want to go down that path, but, that's really what it is. Is we've lost kind of that social connection, and it's turned into a virtual connection. And you know, anyway, I'm even yeah. lost on new technology. Remember, like back in the late '90s and early 2000s, when a new technology came out, it was it was so new and so innovative. Yeah, like it basically took the world. It was like, oh my god, yeah, new iPhone. Whoa, that's yeah. freaking cool. I can do all this stuff. I could put like even with the iPods. You're like, I can put all my music on this little device. That's insane. Same. But now. Technology is coming out so fast, and and even like new stuff I've never even heard of before. Like they're actually working on the omnidirectional uh, treadmills for like RV or VR games and all that stuff. Yeah. I know they had that stuff out already. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 just we don't we've got to this point where it's coming out so fast, and like you don't even realize it's coming out. Yes, yeah. director. All right, so I want to say that Apple stole my idea of what with all the music in one place. Oh. Okay, no, 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 no. Senior Steve, project. Steve Jobs senior stole your senior yes, project. Yes, yes, yes. I'm saying Steve Jobs <laughs> stole my project. Senior project. We had to create a business, all right, and create all the journalism behind it, all the brochures, all the infomercials, all the radio commercials. Remember, we had to create a product. Okay, himself. anyways. And it was a CD that you would put into your car, and it had all your music that you downloaded to it, and it was like a you did. You could download anything and well, however stupid. much you wanted, that's and it stupid. also had a little hologram <laughs> that will pop up oh. of the singer, and so they would sing it at the same time while you're driving. Now that probably was a safety concern, but <laughs> I think they stole it. That's stupid. <laughs> So, and then they compressed okay. it into a little box. <laughs> so you can't go after Steve Jobs for this, but there is somebody who developed a, um, it's a memory crystal. It's, it's, it's about this big. It's the shape of a CD, except really small. So it operates in um, five dimensions, the normal two dimensions of space and time, and then the other three dimensions to help form the crystal lattice. But it, it actually holds like 100 terabytes. And it can last forever without any, you know, without losing it. It'll literally last for like thousands of years without somebody misplacing yeah, it. I also it. just want to point out something. You know, the camera is on him, which is totally fine because that's what I wanted. But, you know, you. you're looking at me and nobody <laughs> knows what you're looking at. Director's right here. She can't show her face because she's ugly. <laughs> How about that? Okay. Our, our camera equipment's ultra sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> which is a wonder why she was pointing at me. every freckle. <laughs> freckle. Freckle. Freckle's got nine syllables now. <laughs> do do I have a good radio voice? You got yeah. a good face for radio. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's my sister. Thanks, Shane. <laughs> Ryan, you need to hit him. You need to hit him. Babe, now I'm an unhappy wife. <laughs> <laughs> you walked into that one. <laughs> he said it though. I didn't walk into anything. But it's kind of cool that like that that technology is 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 starting to get there. Uh, I don't know where you can apply it. Yeah. See, I'm that's, sure you can't that's apply my it issue, though. Well, so There's so much technology coming out today. It's like, are you just inventing something for the sake of inventing it? But how does it actually add value? I, yeah. I would like to know how, what a percentage of owners of, let's say, your iPhone. How many iPhone owners use the technology in their phone and to what level or what capacity? How much of the technology that's built in their phone does an average iPhone user use? Three percent, tiny percent, right? Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying. Like, that. So they, they and they're constantly developing. They're yeah. constantly adding stuff and all of this stuff. Well, they, 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 they my like phone, the first iPhone that came out, had the computing power greater than the Saturn V rocket. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's I mean, that's things like crazy. like yeah. my phone has the ability. It's really, the you've got the can, power in your hands. Take measurements. You can use the camera to to measure that table. I used it once when I first got it and have never used it again in the last almost three years. Did you know you have LiDAR on your phone? It doesn't we surprise have what? me. LiDAR. So what I is can that? take a to- total 3D image of this room with my cell phone and it'd be accurate within three millimeters. But you have an Apple. I don't think Samsung has that. Yes, it does. For sure it does. It's oh, probably an app, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
It's it's built into the, that's what allows the camera to do a lot <laughs> of the stuff it does. The auto focusing. Well, and that's the, so but, they just use that technology, and then you can actually shoot an image. And it's accurate to like, I want to say three, it could be even better, but it's at least three millimeters. I mean, realistically, all we, most, the vast majority of people use their phones for is phone call, text, watching video. Ordering Chick-fil-A. Yeah, or, yeah, social media and pictures. Pictures and movies. Yeah, the phone calls is not nearly as much anymore. That no. has dropped off all tremendously. Text. Yeah. Which drives me nuts. You know, I like it, talking on phone. I, I like talking to people in general. Like, yeah. At work, people want to do this email thing. I just get my ass up and walk to their desk. And I'm like, look, you're two rooms away. I'm going to come over and talk to you. I do the same. Yeah, I, like, yeah. I'm, I, don't, yeah. I don't like, like, sometimes emails are required and necessary and important. I get it. And you want to track conversations. I get all that. But you still can't be the interaction. And, and especially when you're doing problem solving. Yeah. yeah. Right. You know, because you, there's a lot to be said about body language and those things and how it interacts. Yeah. When you uh, type in all caps, that definitely, That's is, yelling. I feel like you're yelling at me. Yeah. I know. Isn't yeah. that bizarre? It's, yeah. <laughs> but it, it does. It gives you, you almost get anxiety yeah. it's when like, you see why it. Why are you yelling at me? Yeah. And then you're like, yeah, the thumbs and up? I don't uh, what like. <laughs> all right. Thumbs, let me think about thumbs it. Up, okay. <laughs> good. We're good. I thought this meant go f yourself. No, that's two thumbs up. Oh, two thumbs up is go f yourself. Okay. But I didn't know that because I used to do that all the time. Wait, like, what? Oh, cool. I had two thumbs up and I didn't know I was telling people to go f themselves. Well, it, it makes sense because, like, if somebody says, I didn't that's know dumb, that like, either. <laughs> <laughs> Why do yeah. people coin stuff? Uh, and that's the thing. Is like to me, it never that's, meant that. I never took it that way. I was How like, could it oh, mean that? Cool. Wait a minute. Like wait a minute. your eyebrows are on fleek. I think that you're saying something wrong. Like what, what is wrong means. with fleek? Actually, means like though you're they look good. You look fleek good, but, girl. but that's yes, but not anymore. Fleek. Don't even use that good, anymore. I, well, because we have to put more words in the system. That's like it's like five years ago though. We already have that is like word for something. No. It's well, like nine years, nine years ago. Nine years ago. There you go. <laughs> I'll make a slang but yeah, word to your point. for no absolute, for no reason whatsoever. Every generation does it. Yeah. Just like they use cap yeah. and bet now. You'll hear them say cap and bet or no cap, yeah. right? What? How does cap, cap means lie. What? Cap means cap. lie? Lie. Lie? Just lie. say lie. Who are you talking to? All y'all. That is young enough to use cap. No, I'm not telling you to he's use cap. Do- I'm like- telling you, I got like 47 children, yeah. and they <laughs> teach me all these things. I wasn't thinking that high. You and actually, see. they don't teach me. I hear them talking, and I pick up on it. You I'm put like, two and six guys are like, what the hell are y'all talking about? And then bet. Everyone says bet. I hate that. Oh, I, just I hate like, it so much. What does that mean? I don't know, but I hate it. Means, it this means like, yeah, we're good. Like, hey, you want to go to Chick-fil-A? Bet. That's that's the response. Yeah, but like, bet bet has an on, on, on look, an already established, established meaning. meaning. Exactly. Yep. Why do we why do we give it a slang meaning for no fucking reason? Let me throw this out there though, because I was talking to a friend of mine about this, who happens to be an English teacher as well, and they were saying that yes, there's words that these kids coin and things, but what about English has to evolve? It has to become no, something bigger, better, or will it die, like Latin? Oh, I mean, no, if it, that's, if it's English not today, being if used or changing things in it, it, would it die? I, I understand the the premise of that argument. I I can see that point. Is a language is a is a living thing, and it it does well, have to. Well, the only way it time. dies is when you need to. You stop you, using it. Nobody else says no, anything. When you have to explain something, and there's not a word that can explain it. Yeah. So if you want to make another word for yes, so apparently bet means yes. Yeah. If you want to make another word for yes. Then let's just use one of the thirty-nine other words we have. Yes. Yep. Right. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. You know, like sure. Bet. Yeah. That, 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 that's a, that's yeah. almost a problem that some people have. Bet. Well, okay. there's, there's a, a certain culture. Okay, but let me ask there's, you. It's this. a cultural thing. Yeah. yeah. But, there's a culture that yeah. wants to 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 stupid, drive though. their own fingerprint on this. All right. Like so this is going deep. But is the, is this how uh, we're complaining about this right now? But is this how English became so complicated in the first place? Probably because read, 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 read. Sweet, Everybody sweet, started sweet, using sweet. read for there, there, there. Your, 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 your. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Things that should have never been used for, but they kept using the same word in different contexts. Yeah. Probably. Books. <laughs> All right. Rack. So that's a good one. Rack. Rack has an establishment. Rack means like a, a, a rack on a truck. I'm rack, racking my bowling rack ball. Rack got a, a deer <laughs> yeah, rack. Deer rack. Now yeah. it's. Racking my brain. Racking your brain. But rack also means titties. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. She got a nice yeah. rack on her. Mm-hmm. Did you rack but that shelf? <laughs> also means uh, like a stack of money. Some rapper was like, I got rack on rack on rack. Yeah. He's got money. We got like bands and bands of money or something. Yeah. And I'm like, why? We yeah, had like four words 
Yeah, because you can Four rack a shelf. That rack used to mean probably and now because we're make another one for they're trying. Yeah, because yeah, here's here's yeah, rack can also be same thing as stack. Because you can rack a shelf or stack a shelf. Well, I look, stupid. Just I because it rhymes doesn't mean it there has the go, same though. meaning. That's the point. <laughs> yeah. They're trying to write a rap song, and they're like, man, I can't come up with a word that rhymes with this. So we'll just make this word mean that. <laughs> and then all the children of the world yeah. <laughs> get on board. That's got to be it. Like It's it's, it's gotten it's, ludicrous. It's It has gotten ludicrous. I mean, we could have probably God, used... we sound like such old farts right now. Complain. Oh, no. no. <laughs> they're oh, using God. the this word This is a really incorrectly. deep conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. 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 Music. Here you go. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not drinking from that. I'm not even putting it on camera. I, okay, so flash. I think about our generation or, or the older generations in general. You know, we use multiple. Now, what we're talking about is using multiple words to mean the same thing. We would use like one word to mean lots of things, and you can use words and structures of words. And could be the same words to mean a bunch of different things. And the key or king of all of them is fuck. Yeah. Great. Fuck and shit. Yeah. Those are two yeah. of the most universal words. They can be adjective, adverb, noun. Yeah. And everyone noun. knows what you mean yeah. when you use it the way you use it. They're yeah. Like, oh, I know exactly what you intend to mean with yeah. that. By, you and can, it's one word. It can be, I know. Ooh, if you, he's mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> you could yeah, verb, yeah, be so a verb. Actually. Fuck that fucking motherfucker. The adjective. Is this supposed to be a clean podcast? It's it's, 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 it's verb, (laughs) adjective, and and, and noun. Yeah. No, we could bleep. Yeah, we're going to bleep. That that one statement is going to be beep, 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 Your wife. Your sister. Your wife. Your sister. I didn't ask for that. I was born into this shit. No excuse. No excuse. No excuse, my ass. What was I going to do? Fall out and be like, no, put me back. Put me back. You couldn't fall out. <laughs> you were too big. I was too big. I was, a, I was 11 was a pounds when I was born. I, well, that makes me, you ever seen that, that Monty Python, uh, The Meaning of Life? Yeah. Yeah, that's what that lady's sitting there. Oh, I had another one. <laughs> but she's sitting there watching dishes. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Every <laughs> sperm is <What>? sacred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, here you go. <laughs> you were just wanting to put those penis glasses No, in you know thing. what? Joe gave them to you. Joe gave them to you. No, he the, bought them for you guys. I don't want a penis glass, though. <laughs> I want the real thing. Yeah. <laughs> the, the bad thing is when I they, get the real when they fill out, you have to shake it. <laughs> to get it out. <laughs> They're filled. <laughs> You can't just pour it because then it gets a vacuum on it. You gotta actually like go it's like the, this. It's the boot. Shake it's it the boot. You have to turn the boot. Yep. So that bubble doesn't blast in your face. Yep. So yes. It's like this. You gotta you gotta you cook turn, bowls <laughs> and turn it, and then so it doesn't blast in your face. <laughs> it's gonna shoot straight down your throat. Yeah. Well, take we'll solace. When you were sleeping, we took pictures with that thing in your mouth. That's fine. Oh yeah. Yeah, I would have done the same thing. <laughs> Blackmail is coming your way. <laughs> Why are you singing? <laughs> Because I can? Every uh, 30 hey, seconds. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Like, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. AJ, 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 have you ever met your sister? <laughs> what? Have you ever met your sister? <laughs> he no. doesn't do. He doesn't Keep do. Keep going. Do. Yes, I you do. I sing every 30 seconds. <laughs> Somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> way up high. I swear to God. <laughs> clear the room. Lightning is going to strike. But I don't do that. <laughs> You oh, walk in the door Friday right afternoon like four singing. times since we've been sitting here. All right? See, she may be more excessive about it, but you do the same thing. I'm not saying I don't do I that. can I'm channel she does my it. inner I don't do that. light and Every find animals she does and have them come to me. I don't me like it when mom and dad and argue. from my hand. <laughs> mom and daddy fighting again. <laughs> Love you, director. Because I, I have know. to. I have to. It's, so you know the the Greeks. I'm still did lost a great on what types of love he's talking about. Of categorically identifying those different types of love. Okay. You, you should really look it up, and they have specific names for them. Oh, do they really? Yep. Uh, there's and there's her five for example. <laughs> why is she here? You develop a special kind of love for your right hand. 
Why is she when you're here? single, there's a very special love that develops between you and Anne. Directors, and she's going to start laughing, like director's input is not helpful at all. First off, she interrupted a very philosophical conversation with a, Happy birthday, Daphne! And some crazy... I feel like I'm watching Wizard of Oz right now. One of the Wicked Witches. Yeah! <laughs> she's, she's about to go full wall beaver. Wow. <laughs> okay, so Francis. And then she's like, Steve Jobs stole my name. <laughs> I'm keeping conversation light. Okay, you I'll should just, say, just stare fair. at the camera. Yeah, I mean, because... Can we ever take ourselves too seriously? Yes. So. The director told me I had to stare at a camera. <laughs> so here are the types of love. Are you listening? Yeah. Go for it. Yes. Oh okay. my god. You know you can't get out of here to go pee. So if you pee, it's in the corner. All right. You're gonna Winston on the carpet. Here it goes. You're gonna Winston on the carpet. Let's <laughs> get <laughs> started. Tom, you tits. What are you doing, huh? That's not tits, it's rock. <laughs> hey oh, no cap. On fleet bet. Bet. All right. So what are the four types of love relationships? Okay. Affection, friendship, passion, and selfless, right? Those are the, that's current language. Old language is agape, philia, eros, and stork. I'm a fan of philia. Uh, not means. necro. No, 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 no. Story. <laughs> I said philia. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Necro's in there? Necrophilia. No. Yeah, necro's in there. No. You said philia. Yeah, yeah it is. Necrophilia. Yeah, that's how I'm a fan of philia. Yeah, necrophilia. You said necro. <laughs> yes, you're a fan of necrophilia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what went is down philia, the drain. Though? So, so, I don't, all right. I don't think he knows what necrophilia is. Yeah. I know what necrophilia <laughs> is. I've watched philia. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Let me, let me say it now. Philia often involves the feelings of loyalty <laughs> among friends, camaraderie among teammates, and a sense of sacrifice. For your pack. See? I'm a fan of philia. I'm a wolf. <laughs> Agape love <laughs> is totally unconditional, right? That's what would that be like parent, child? That's just yeah. agape. You can have agape but, for anybody. Because I think yeah. dogs have agape. Probably. Unconditional love towards their store J or familial love. So that's the love you have for see. your brothers and sisters. Are you listening? No, she's <laughs> distracting me. I'm listening. Director? I was listening. listening. This is that unhelpful <laughs> shit. She's like, look, it's a bag of bacon flavored popcorn. Store no, J candy. is Where the, the fuck is? Store J is the natural form of affection that flows between parents and their children and children for their parents. Which one is that? Store, Store J. J. Store J. Okay. Store J. And then the last is Eros, which is dang girl, you look good. That kind of love. Like lusty. lusty. Love. Lusty. Yeah. Yep. Lusty. Okay. Lusty, lusty love. Would that be Hence where love erotic love? comes from. Wait, so could, so is lust and love in the same category? Lust is no. Uh, but it's a lust. It's a No, they're not in the same category. Yeah, I didn't think they were. But lust is attached to a type of love, eros love. Because okay. in that moment, especially, like, you know, how many I've never how many times that. have you heard or seen in a movie? A line where you know they're intimate and the, the word I love you comes out and then they're like, Oh, I didn't mean to say that. Like Oh, uh, okay. It's so like it's, the whatever it was endorphins or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. System, it just yeah. makes you say stupid yeah. shit. Yeah. It's it's a it's a yeah. at the moment externally stimulated love. Okay. I would say that. That's probably could you share that towards uh like um material items? Like, man, I love I Lamborghinis. Could. I love Lamborghinis. Unconditional. I love lamp. That's is that is that would that be <laughs> unconditional? I love lamp. Would that be agave or whatever. <laughs> I love lamp. Was yep. it agave really or agape? Lamp, or are you just saying all of lamp? Uh, agave <laughs> or agape? I think he said agave. Isn't yeah, that agave. a sweetener? Is that's, it agave that's, or agape? Agave is tequila. Yeah, uh, exactly. That's what the mix tequila is. Agave is a sugar though, right? Yeah, yeah it's agape. Agape. Agape, agape is the love. Yeah. yeah. Agave yeah. is agape, sugar. He's Storge, thinking about bourbon ritas over here. Philia <laughs> and Eros. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Is it time? Is it time it's for eleven o'clock? It's it's, it's a hair it's a hair past the freckle. Somewhere. Five o'clock in London. Let's call James up. James Morgan. Hello, Governor. Hello, Governor. Hello, Paul. Damn it. <laughs> She's what? sending us text now, Ryan. <laughs> it's fluffy stuff, bacon, cotton candy. <laughs> uh, uh. Speaking of, hang on. I can't I don't want to walk through those. Mm. Throw me that oh, box. Yeah, right? grab that oh. box. No, throw it's me. not throw me the box. It's throw me. Yeah, throw me. We, we need to try you those. Say throw? I said throw. Uh, 
uh, less sir, uh, less milk. Can we I need try to try that? him less milk. No, shut your face. Wait a second. What is that? <clears throat> this is Kit Kat Cereal. Oh, yeah. Cereal. Yeah. See, Cereal. that is what we're talking about. Changing the word. This is some old bullshit. Is what this is. That's Spanish. <laughs> that is Spanish. Yeah. Hey, crack that bad jack. Chacolioso. Crispy. Let's, Let's see, let's see, AJ, just how full that bag is. Probably not that full. Do want to take a so, let's, yeah. so I'm going to say, I think it's probably 52% full. Right there. So just above half. Right here. Uh -huh. Just above half? I say just above half. I don't, have I don't even think it's up that high. We're, we're directly how many ounces does it say on the box? Oh, hey <laughs> I'm not going to tell you the ounces. You're going to guess first. My well, guess is it's going to be 11 or 12 I'm give them the answers. Stop like, trying to be smart. It'll be yeah. 11 or 12 Stop being ounces, a good probably. Yeah. Well, that's, what, that's wrong. I'm not going to guess because I felt. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, so Fair I enough. know exactly yeah, where yeah. it's going to be. Yeah. Every, or director. Go back up. Where? Uh, Down a little bit. Right there. Right here? Uh -huh. Right here? Yep. All right, so this is director. Director. All right, Rye. Um, Go down to the next splash of milk. Oh, that's about where this I was one? thinking. Yep. That's where I was thinking. Just yep. above half yeah. is where I think it's going to be. So right. put Shane there, too. Shane, you want to be there, too? Yeah, I think so, because I think that's about He's going to be on that splash of milk as well. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Ryan. Splash of milk on me. I have my own splash. <laughs> splash of milk. Sploosh of milk. All right. Milk. Sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> sponsored by milk. The, mo the, the, mo <laughs> the morning after. Sponsored by uh. milk. <laughs> It could be like uh, Laverne and Shirley, where you have uh, bourbon and milk instead of Pepsi and Coke and milk. Boy, I think the director might be on. Right <gasps> oh, holy, holy crap! <laughs> she is dead. Oh, oh. Damn. <laughs> like straight up. Wow, perfect. <laughs> That's now and, and, and actually, close. if you take the, where the bag was, the other side of the bag is literally right where you put the line. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's perfect. Dead. You know, what? Perfect. Um, you know what I'm excited about? This thing that. Loop out. Yeah. Yes. Where it's difficult to get back in the box. So it's floop. So a technical term. Floop. Floop. Very hey, well look, done. If those young whippersnappers can make up fleek bet and <laughs> cap and all that bullshit, I can say floop. Floop. All right, we're gonna we're gonna taste test one of them there. Coo cats. Jesus Christ, who made this bag? <laughs> <Huh>? Damn NASA. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> That's why it didn't floop. Did it floop? <laughs> oh, it's flooped. Oh, oh, I got paint on my hand. Oh, 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 So what am I supposed to do during these podcasts when I need more coffee? You just go uh, get it. Well, you should have had a pop brought in with you, I guess. I should have. You just go get it. But, yeah. What? I'm going to it's get it. It's a podcast, not a broadcast. Yeah, it's a podcast, not a vet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by God, by God, them things is good. By God, it's by delicious. God. Here, I'm gonna come try. Some. I'll be damned if this ain't delicious. Oh, hey, hold your hand out. Hold your hand out. Ooh, ooh. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, they're good. Oh wow. Put these motherfuckers in milk. Bro. Oh, damn. That might be a thing, you know. That that dog will hunt. Mm hmm. Kids ain't getting these. <laughs> Help them kids. <laughs> mind them kids. Are you staying, Shane, tonight? No. Okay. When are you leaving? Oh, well, probably should we get done. Yeah. I'm I just I had my uh, my daughter and son come back from Indiana last night. Yeah. And um, your oldest? My oldest daughter and my uh, one of my twins. Hey, this shit is good. You're gonna love it, especially you being the coffee drinker you are. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's right. You, oh, the mic. you saw me put the bag up and close this box. And it flooped on it you. It flooped out. Because you broke the seal, man. No. Once you break the seal, it's over. I'm trying to give you a handful. You, you fucking kill yourself. So I really oh, wow. did. I really did want to. Oh, I bet that's amazing. Oh, with that's coffee. good. <laughs> that's good. With I really coffee. did want to stay, by the way, but I just. No, you didn't. That's what she's no, I really did because he's a liar. He's fixing a pork loin. I wanted to right. that. That sucker is in there brining right now. I feel pretty how good. Long, how long you got to cook it? Uh, it's only a couple hours. Oh, really? It's like two hours. Oh, wow. You Can you hear the Kit Kat? You, you do because if you on a loin, 
if you cook it too slow, yeah, it'll, it'll dry, dry out. out. Yep. yep. Did you see Gugu cook um, two briskets? He smoked one, and then he covered one in a banana leaf, and then put clay on it, packed it with clay, Dude, and Guga's put it awesome. in his pizza oven. I love Gugu. And he destroyed it. <laughs> oh, but so, I love Gugu. Yeah, Gugu is, is awesome. so hilarious. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. 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 Love his voice. He's he has cool. done some really wild shit, and yeah. you're like, I oh, want to go and melt some peanut butter. Oh. Kind of like, like, you know, the puppy chow? Yes. yes. Turn that into puppy chow. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. It's your own fucking box. <laughs> Dude. Oh, man. Mix that with oh. some checks. Oh. Oh. O'Reilly. <laughs> Auto, Auto parts. <laughs> well, yeah. we have been talking for an hour, and I'm sure people are snoozing right now. Why would that? they? Yeah. Because we're freaking awesome. We're yeah. interesting. And ish. And the magic of editing can make this 15 uh, minutes if we want to. <laughs> well, so we, let's cover the topic. So we talked about Chick fil A for 15 minutes. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. That was good. Philosophical yeah. debate of uh, the society. Uh, the English language oh, yeah. in society. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How yeah. stupid director is. Uh, that'll be another episode when she's not here. So we can really get into it. <laughs> I'm going to name you. You're, you're, you're now sped. <laughs> Well, Hello. this has been yes awesome. Yeah, I like awesome. this format. I think this is going to be fun. So yes, this is I like. Good. I agree. I like, yeah, I agree. I agree. All right. I agree. I agree. I agree. Linda. I agree. Oh. Don't pet that dog. Don't pet that dog. Don't pet that dog. Dog. Oh. As I nobody knows what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> cat Not cereal. Sponsor us, General Mills. Sponsor milk. Milk, yeah, milk, hey, 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 it hey, is. milk, sponsor us. <laughs> milk, <laughs> milk, I don't cows. care what cows, cows. but sponsor they did us. it better. You know what's in the shot? The Kirkland sponsor us. <laughs> the Kirkland sponsor us. <laughs> Kirkland sponsor us. <laughs> we have peanuts nice. somewhere. <laughs> that has not been in a shot in at least a year. Yeah, since the rental house, yeah. No, we did put it up when we were shooting oh, in we that did, yeah. corner before we redid everything. Oh, wait, you guys are coming up on a year in this house. Yeah, August the what? 23rd? 26th. The 26th. You know 26th. what's crazy? They don't need to sponsor you because you're free advertising for them anyway. I know. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I'll see. Yeah. Should we? Nah. Nah. <laughs> this is free. It's much yeah. cheaper. It's free. <laughs> that was supposed to be given away at some point. Uh, yeah. Oh, that, so that so what we do such a is sponsor Nobody. us or and then put a black bar across yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, All what right. do you think? Think we need to end it? Yep, let's end it here. Right, end it. Thanks for guys for Bye. a while. And on that note, back to the studio. Yeah, we'll, back to the we'll, studio. That's uh, Top Gear. You we'll, can't do that. We get sued. Uh, Bye, y'all. Hey, what is it? Who did it? What? Top Gear. They say, uh, and then on that, that note, note, back, back to, to the, the studio. It's uh, not copyright, though. <laughs> copyright, though? <laughs> not copyright, no. My God. Can you, can you quit? All can right. You, don't dig at your pants in the box. Well, thanks. This has been fun. We'll see or you guys next time. Uncouth bastard. And if these two siblings. Quit dropping them on the floor. I think we're going to put him in a ring with some boxing gloves and just let him. I would win. Yeah. Uh, she's digging her walking on the street hands in the box. I don't know what the f*** she's touching. Walking on. Is this the blooper section? You're not digging in the box. People got to eat other things. Wait a minute. Walking on the street. Are you equating me to a hoe?